Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. ASML occupies 80% of the global lithography machine market share and has a 100% monopoly in the EUV lithography machine market. However, whether ASML can live a good life depends on the needs of customers. At present, many US chip giants have collectively acted to reduce chip purchases and cut capital expenditures. Affected by this, chip manufacturers have also begun to cut down on single lithography machines. ASML was caught off guard, but SMIC is increasing its production capacity. Some foreign media said, SMIC is doing a good job. Demand determines the market, and when demand declines, the market will make corresponding adjustments. This is an unchanging law in all major market industries, especially in the past few years, when the semiconductor industry has undergone very large demand changes. First, the demand for chips soared, and the production capacity was in short supply, and then the demand declined rapidly in 2022, resulting in excess production capacity. The reason is that consumers buy smartphones and the demand for computers decreases, which leads to a continuous decline in chip suppliers' shipments. Today, the chip market demand has not recovered, and there are signs of continued decline. U.S. chip giants acted collectively. In response to the decline in demand, they have adjusted their capital expenditure plans or joined in layoffs. For example, since Intel's profit plummeted by 60% in 2022, it plans to cut costs of 3 billion US dollars in 2023 and then lay off thousands of employees in various departments around the world. Qualcomm also plans to further cut expenses after handing over its poor financial report for the first quarter of fiscal year 2023. Intel and Qualcomm are the world's top chip suppliers. Intel can manufacture its own chips, while Qualcomm's chips are manufactured by TSMC and Samsung. In addition, Intel also outsources some high-end chips to TSMC. As MIC giants cut capital expenditures, upstream and downstream suppliers will be affected and will adjust their spending plans accordingly. Sure enough, news came from TSMC that it would cut 40% of its orders for lithography machines in 2024. This is undoubtedly caught off guard for ASML. TSMC is ASML's largest customer, and TSMC's headquarters in Taiwan province is ASML's largest market source. If 40% of TSMC's lithography machine orders are lost, it is hard to say whether it can stabilize the revenue in the Taiwan market. But customers' needs are not something that ASML can decide. What ASML can do is to make every effort to seize market demand opportunities. SMIC may be the main entry point for ASML. SMIC has built four 12-inch wafer fabs in Beijing, Shenzhen, Tianjin, and Shanghai. Once these fabs are completed, they can contribute 360,000 pieces of production capacity per month. Among them, SMIC's Beijing factory in Beijing is expected to be officially put into mass production in the second half of the year, mainly for the production of 28 nanometers mature process chips. TSMC has reduced orders for lithography machines, so ASML needs to make up for the vacancy in orders from other customers. 
SMIC's active expansion of 28 nanometers production may just meet ASML's order needs. Although it is only 28 nanometers, in fact, SMIC's deep cultivation in this market is of key significance. First of all, the 28 nanometers process is one of the most widely used and mature advanced processes at present. It can produce chip products with high performance, low power consumption, and high integration. Its reliability and performance are recognized and accepted by customers. Secondly, the reason why SMIC has deployed 28 nanometers chips is also because there is a large market demand in this field, and it has obvious advantages in market scale and competitive advantages. 28 nanometers chips are widely used in consumer electronics, communications, data centers, and other fields, and the market prospect is very broad. In addition, SMIC uses 28 nanometers technology to carry out technological innovation and improve production efficiency, which can further enhance its technological advantages and market competitiveness in this field to better meet customer needs. From many perspectives, SMIC's 28 nanometers layout is the right choice. Some foreign media said, SMIC is doing a good job. With the rapid development of information technology and industry, the semiconductor industry and 28 nanometers technology will also face greater challenges and development opportunities. In this context, focusing on the development of 28 nanometer chips can bring more technological breakthroughs and innovations to SMIC, and at the same time help SMIC to lay out future markets early and maintain its leading position in technology. China has set a goal of 70% chip self-sufficiency. To achieve this goal, SMIC needs to continue to expand chip production. In response to the current market demand, it can flexibly adjust its production plan and continue to move towards the goal. TSMC, Samsung, and Intel focus their production on high-end chips, thanks to the support of high-end EUV lithography machines, while ASML is affected by US rules and cannot freely ship EUV lithography machines to mainland customers. Therefore, SMIC needs to find its own path within the scope of conditions. The market demand for 28 nanometers chips cannot be underestimated, but SMIC still needs to master more production capacity. The four 12-inch wafer fabs in hand are still under construction, and we look forward to future performance. If you agree with this viewpoint of this video, Please like it, welcome to forward, leave a message and share.